Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ozarks Live. <laughs> Good to have you with us. I am so discombobulated right now. Yeah. I have thought all day that it was Friday. No, but I'm sorry you were wrong. Well, you know, it's one of those things where truly, I forget what happened earlier. Oh, TJ came in yeah. from the weather lab, mm -hmm. and we were all talking to TJ, and at one point he goes, okay, see you guys tomorrow, and I'm like, why was TJ going to be here on a Saturday? And then I thought, Joy, it's not Friday. And that's kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mess with Jeremy all the time when he's leaving. You know, every now and then I'll say, see you next week. And he, he walks goes, out. <laughs> and then he comes yeah. back in. He said, well, I, 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 so I like to mess with him. Doing that. Well, you know how you always get off a day. Everybody has yeah. that happen to them. Yeah. And um, one of our producers, Jake, said the same thing. He said, I've been off all week. I said, I've been fine all week until now. And I just got my heart broken that it was only Thursday. I mean, truly. Yeah. I, I've got to, I've got to reset my mind. So anyway, woe is me. I'm sorry to burden you with that, but it's just been a weird feeling all yeah. day long. And I'm, since you brought up TJ, okay, just to let you all know, I mean, since meteorologist, I'm just speaking to Jamie, you know, me, yeah. our chief meteorologist. News out of the weather lab. Yeah, and and it's like the winter weather advisory is going to be moving in about 6 a.m. tomorrow until the you know nighttime hours and. Uh, thinking, I think it's along a line, 60 highway and, and north. Mm -hmm. But there could be like 45 mile per hour wind gusts, temps in the 30s. Well, I tell you what, tune in to Jamie at like <laughs> 5, 6, 9, and 10. He'll give you all the details, but just be ready for it. You think it's windy out now, 45 miles per hour is a little bit higher than what we've been yeah, having the today. Yeah, and the snow might be blowing sideways. Yeah. But um, real quick, if you haven't heard, some sad news out of, I start to say Hollywood, but I guess it would be Las out of Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, you know, Siegfried and Roy had forever had like that that amazing show, that magic, the magic act, act that they did with the, with the white tigers. tigers and white lions. Well, and... Siegfried died today. Siegfried passed away. So Siegfried and Roy literally are no more because Roy, um, who had been maimed by the tiger, died of COVID earlier. Oh, within, within the, the last, last year, six months ish, yeah. maybe something like that. So anyway, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of some sad news to report. That was a great show. I saw it a million years ago. Been around for a long time. Long time. Highest paid entertainers in Las Vegas for a long time. Not surprised. All right. Yeah. Now we have a jam-packed show for you today. Downing Street Poorhouse will be showing us their wares. And a giant pretzel. I love it. And we have another edition of Shelter Spotlight complete with a fuzzy buddy that you're yeah, going to love. Yeah, Chris the Critic gives us the latest from the box office. Yeah, and E.T. tells us about a secret giant moving to our television, rather a screen giant moving to our television. Uh, and it's not gonna Joy be is going to show us an easy way to create a great dessert. <laughs> but before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. All right, I got one for you. If I win the Powerball or the Mega Millions or both, could happen, okay? I found something at CES 2021 that is immediately going on my must-have list, okay? I think with the numbers, you could buy everything at CES. With if you that kind to. of money, yeah. I might be able yeah, to actually yeah, yeah. buy some of those things. Um, it unveiled this week at the virtual show, and I have to admit, I'd love to see this one up close. It is a new feature in the 2022 all electric Mercedes Benz EQS sedan. It's called a hyperscreen. Now this thing is like 56 inches across, which is from one side of the front of that car to the other. Okay. It puts all of your displays together in one big seamless video screen. This thing is AI enabled. So if you usually call somebody on your way home, it'll ask you if you're ready to call things like that. It's made to offer fewer distractions because there are no menus to scroll. Everything is said to be right there, okay? You can ask it to do about anything from adjust temperature to change the music, change the lighting. I mean, apparently even like the trim on the dash, you can change it to match your mood, you know? It leaves your drive, it learns rather your driving behavior and it can alert you as to traffic problems ahead, weather alerts, it can offer tidbits of information about landmarks, restaurants, museums. You can even say, um, what is that building up there to the right? And the car will just tell you what it is. You can stream TV. You can adjust the massage settings on the seat. You can save up to seven driver profiles based on your preferences, which they ain't nobody going to be driving that car but me. So we don't need that. Um, I'm a little confused here. Uh, okay. 56-inch screen. Where is this screen? In front of you? Yeah, it's your My dashboard. My driving habit then would be bang. I'd be smashing into things all because the time. Because you're going to be wanting to watch the screen. Oh, oh, yeah, pow. 
I don't know. Well, last year at the show, we ran into the people who make the Byton car, B-Y-T-O-N. Yep. Yep. And those cars have something similar. And yeah. CBS Viacom was all about programming for okay. the car. Because, you know, you need to be watching a lot of TV while you're driving I think that Mercedes is going to be more expensive than that TV you talked don't about yesterday. Don't you know yesterday. it? Yeah. All right, now, this might be considered the ultimate, ultimate dream job. Basically, it boils down to watching TV and eating pizza, which I consider myself a professional at. We are professional. An Olympic champion. All right. Bonus Finder, a website dedicated to reviewing and offering deals for legal gambling sites, is looking for a professional binge watcher to watch and review three series on Netflix and eat takeout pizza from various locations. Now, there, there is a catch. You can't just sit around watching and eating. No, 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 no. You will be required to review each series on its story and plot lines, Netflix and chill suitability, acting quality and cheesiness, satisfaction of episodes and series endings. Then you will have to rate the pizza for appearance and color, basic, you know, texture and taste, topping ingredient quality, flavor, cheese, gooiness, and value for the money. Now, if you're all of those really tough requirements, you're still interested, you can apply to Bonus Finder's website. Now, it will be a short-term job, but beyond all the Netflix and pizza, you get paid 500 bucks. Is there a certain requirement where one must live to do that? I didn't spot any kind of requirement whatsoever. With Netflix, it shouldn't matter, but no. if they're wanting you to review pizza in a certain region of the country, okay, I could do yeah, that I'm, too. I'm, I'm, but, sign me up. I know. I'll tell you what, guys, bonus fine. I'll do it for 250 Okay, there you go. All right, I've got one for you. Millions of Jeopardy fans are still mourning the loss of longtime host Alex Trebek. There's an interesting lineup of temporary hosts, though, which might even boost the ratings a little bit out of sheer curiosity. Yeah. This is interesting. I don't know if you've seen this. Um, ready? So here's the p part of the lineup of the hosts that are coming in. Journalist and author Katie Couric, over to the left. 60 Minutes correspondent Bill Whitaker, mm -hmm. over to the right. I had no idea. Actress and neuroscientist Maya Bialik, of course, from The Big Bang Theory yeah. and Fox's Call Me Cat. I love her. Didn't know she was a neuroscientist. Yeah. Uh, and perhaps the most unusual choice, Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> really? One of these things is not, not like, like the, the other. other. <laughs> I... An additional guest host or two or three will be announced later this season. Tom, you'd be really good at that. Yeah. You would be. Well, I, yeah, if you have all the answers, but it's going to be, it is really hard to picture anybody but Trebek but in that Trebek position. But Trebek doing it. But, yeah. you know, when Aaron Rodgers jumps up there to that little podium, uh, it's going to be a lot of people going, got to check this one out. Well, that's true. That's true. All right. Coming up, food and drink of the best kind. Downing Street Poorhouse is next. Yep, don't go away. Ozark's Light is just getting started. <laughs>